Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash free. When the value of a fixed asset declines, that amount of decline in the value of the asset is called depreciation. We will look at tracking depreciation for our fixed assets. There are many ways to track depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. If you are currently tracking your asset depreciation in another method, just rest assured that you can continue using that method if desired. Now, fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they do have a value. And since they last for a long time, you don't completely charge or place the expense of their purchase to the year in which you bought them. Instead, you spread their cost over several years, which is called the asset's useful life. But, because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete, like computers, their value declines constantly from the day you purchase them. The amount of this decline is called depreciation. So, when you refer to the value of a fixed asset at any point, it's just an estimate. Now, to determine the estimated value of the fixed asset, you need to subtract its accumulated depreciation, which would be the total amount of depreciation since its purchase, from its original purchase cost. And that will give you your book value. Now, to set up an accumulated depreciation account in Peachtree, once again, you need to do it through the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. And you can open up this window by choosing Maintain from the menu bar, and then selecting the Chart of Accounts command. So, enter an ID number for the accumulated depreciation account that you want to create to track the amount of depreciation for the fixed asset. You can give the account a description, and just make sure it clearly references the fixed asset account for which it will be tracking the accumulated depreciation. Just make sure you set the account type as accumulated depreciation. At that point, you'll just click the Save button to save the account. Now, when you need to enter the amount of depreciation for the fixed asset, you can do that through a general journal entry that'll consist of two rows. Now, in the first row, you would place the accumulated depreciation account, and put the amount of depreciation to record for the asset into the credit column, which will decrease its worth, but then this account is designed to track lost worth, so it's okay that the balance in these accounts is negative. Then, in the next row, you would put an expense account, like depreciation expense. In this row, you would also place the amount of depreciation for the fixed asset as a debit to the expenses, increasing your total amount of depreciation expense. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com/free.